Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. My name is Bas, and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can use these rigged character heads. So this is a new product that I created that you can buy now at campkeyframe.tv and these are 12 faces that I designed in Illustrator and rigged up in After Effects for you to animate. So they're all completely done. Only thing you have to do is move some things around and then you'll quickly have these faces animated and displaying emotions. So as you can see here, we have these 12 faces in this um, compilation overview. You can see all 12 of them. And if I just go into one of them here, this is called Maya. You can see we have these five layers in here. And this control layer, what this does is to control all the colors. And we have these four layers. And you can see if I select them, I select these four pink squares here. They control the movement of the face. So if I click on, for example, this one for the head, I can just move this little square around in this box and the face will follow it. It will follow wherever you go within this box, which is really cool. You can also do this with our eyebrows, with the mouth or with the eyes. I've rigged all of, the, all of those as well. So if I move the eyes around, they can, you can move the eyes individually. And uh, with the eyebrows, if you move them to the left, they get kind of angry looking. And if you put them up, they are like sad and to the right, kind of worried and uh, curious at the bottom. Uh, and also the same thing for the mouth. So let's make her angry. Let's go to the left here and this one to the left as well. So now she's really angry. But if you, you can also go like down for curious. And if you put this down here, then she looks like kind of, hmm. So, um, but you can also just mix it up. If I put this one angry and put this mouth on, uh, let's just say in the middle, which is like the normal happy state, she looks kind of sinister and like she's up to no good. Um, so you can play around with these and you can animate this by opening up the position parameters on your layers. So if I go to the head and press P on my keyboard and I'm going to place a keyframe here, click on the stopwatch and go a bit further and then put this to the upper left, for example. And then here you have it. You can, she looks to the left. I'm going to make this go a bit faster. So now she looks to the left. Give this some quick easing. Ease. And then, of course, you can also move our uh, eyes a little bit extra. So position for that. And then maybe have the eyes go up even further like that. And we can also make her look angry, for example. So let's open the mouth and the eyebrows rig and press P. And I'm going to place a position keyframe here and then over here as well. And then I'm going to put this on angry. And this one as well. So now she's going to look to the left and looking angry. Give that all an easy ease. Yep. So boom, there you go. And this is not a really good animation right now. It's really fast and not done really properly. But you can uh, see how this uh, thing works. So this is a really nice way to animate these faces rather quickly. So what I can also show you is I press U on the keyboard to close everything up. And what you can see here is I have this little icon, the hide icon uh, selected. If I unclick that, then all of these layers that are used to make up this whole thing are revealed here because uh, you don't need them uh, for animating. So I just put them away and lock them so you can't do anything with them. But you can just unlock these layers if you want. And here we have the eye left and the eye right. And maybe you want the character to blink. So how you can do that is to go to your eyes and uh, press the S on your keyboard to open up the scale properties. Then we're going to click on this stopwatch to make a keyframe and then like maybe go two frames to the right. I'm going to unclick this button which is called constraint proportions because I only, let's zoom in here, I only want this um, eye to you know, scale up and down like this. So let's put it at zero here and I'm going to go two frames to the right again and I'm going to copy this first keyframe, command C and then press command V and now she blinks that eye and so i'm going to select all of these press command c and then open up the eye left press s here as well and then press command v to paste those uh, keyframes here and now she's actually blinking over there and you can just um press command c and press command select them both press command v again and maybe here as well and here so then she starts um blinking like that which is really easy and one other cool thing about this is that I've created this control layer here. If you click on this control, you can see that it has colors standing over here. And if I go to my effect controls, I can here uh, change the colors of this whole artwork. So I have the skin color. So let's make that uh, like a different one, a little pinkish, orangey, like that. 
and I have the hair color. We can make that like more purple if we want and all the also the eyebrows move along with it. And we have the cheek color. Let's make that like mirror more pink. And we have the detail, which is like these little lines on our face, the mouth, the ears and the, the, um, the nose, but it's mostly like, let's keep it dark. And the hat color, you can also change that. Uh, this girl is wearing a hat. And then we have the eye color. I'll mostly leave that on black or that's something dark. And we have the opacity of the cheeks, how much you want. If you want them gone, just put them at zero, but I just like it to have a little, little bit of blush on the cheeks. So now this everything's updated and it only affects this layer. If you go back to the compilation, uh, all the other layers are not affected. It's only this girl right here. And you can also see that in this composition here, you don't see anything, any of all these other stuff around her. That's because all of them are guide layers. If I open this up, all the things you don't want to see are guide layers, like all this stuff over here and all the, the text here. You can do that by right clicking it and then going to guide layer. So then, it, so then it won't show up in compositions above it or when you're rendering the video. So one more thing I would like to explain. These characters are rigged with the plugin called joysticks and sliders. It's right here on the screen. And uh, you can buy this plugin as well and create your own uh, rigged faces. Uh, and one thing that would really help uh, with animating is when you're when you want to animate this uh, this guy's face, uh, you have to go into the composition of the face itself and start animating over there. But I've uh, placed this one in this composition called Comp One, and I want to animate it here because maybe I have some different stuff around it and I want it to react on things that happen around it. So I want to animate this in here and not go into the composition itself. So then you go into your composition of your face. Then you click on your eyebrow rig here and then in your joysticks and sliders window you can see here move joystick to parent comp. So I'm going to click on comp 1 because this composition that it's in it's called comp 1 and I want this rig to move to that comp so it's parent. So if I click on to parent and as you can see it has moved the rig over here. So now here I can just move this around and we can uh, alter the eyebrows. If I go back into the composition I can also do the same thing here for the mouth for the eye and for the head. Boom, go into comp one. Maybe you need to move something around a bit because they're a little bit misplaced here, Because you, but you can just select this uh, origin layer like this square around it uh, to move it like that. Doesn't affect the animation. And with this, you can now animate these uh, squares again to move the face. So now you can animate your stuff in here. But for this, you would need this joystick and sliders plugin for yourself. Uh, I do highly recommend it uh, though. It's a, it's a great uh, value for money. Uh, you can buy that online. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice way to maybe, you know, get a bit more control outside of your face compositions. So that's it for this one. If you are interested in this product, go to my website, campkeyframe.tv, where you can buy it. Uh, I, I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions about this, please ask me in the comments down below. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.